first thing we have to do, of course, is to get some hydrogen and oxygen into this bottle. And we're going to fill the bottle with water. It's called collecting the gas by water displacement. We fill it right to the top and invert it into our bucket of water so that there's very little air in there, like that. And Stella, you're going to pick that up for me. And we have two containers of gas, one hydrogen and one oxygen. They are labeled in their different colors. And because we're going to make water, uh, just a tiny, tiny bit of water out of the gases that we're putting into the bottle, we want twice as much hydrogen, H2O, as we want oxygen. So you have to hold that up. Amanda, you might want to get closer so that you can see it bubble inside. This is where I would say that we wouldn't need all of this. Okay. And when it's about two-thirds full, we're going to now put in some oxygen gas. Again, sometimes it's really tight. Okay, okay that's where I want to go. Mm -hmm. Once it starts to bubble out, we know it's got um, enough in it. These two gases are lighter than air, so when I pick it up, we can assume the gases aren't going to fall out right away and hold on to that. Basically, what you got to do is you got to light the match. Someone has to hold this, I guess. I guess. You can yes. Hold that. Light the match, then light the wood splint. Right. And then uh, Amanda's you're going to take the cover off. Yeah, not yet. Yeah. Wait till it's lit, right? Yeah. And it makes a really loud noise, Amanda. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 